We have to keep the ethics, keep the integrities. We have to be kind. We have to represent our understanding of compassion. We have to be slow to criticize the acts of others because of the mysterious limitations within ourselves. But little by little, we can gradually get to a point where some of the common mistakes that are not only making us trouble, but through us the whole world, we can escape from this net of our own compromises. That we do not have to compromise. We can do it right in the first place if we really want to. Now, people who do not understand these things do not really want to change. I know people whose great joy in life is nagging someone. Nothing else seems to really supply them. But if you took those persons and analyzed them, you would find there's something wrong inside. And here psychology comes into the situation, but mostly in a half-baked manner. The individual who doesn't like anyone goes to an analysis, analyst to find out why, and he gets a definition which is probably essentially true. That he is that way because of incidents in his own previous life, which he have been submerged, and which are now fighting their way to the surface at the expense of his present disposition. This is probably reasonably true, but what do we get as a real solution for this? How is this individual suddenly not going to do it? The, uh, the idea is that if he finds out the cause, he will correct it himself. This is optimism. He doesn't, generally doesn't do anything of the kind. He finally has an excuse for his present condition, and he works it for all it's worth. <laughs> this I've seen happen many, many times. But theoretically, a person with problems has to face problems. Sometimes he discovers his memory is a very useful thing. One of the things we are warned about by materialists is that we shouldn't trust memory unless it has been schooled at Harvard. But at the same time, if we don't trust memory, we're going to miss a number of things. We can remember back to the situations of early life that could very well have caused the difficulties that we have. And these difficulties will keep right on bothering us. And we will say, it's not my fault at all. It was my uncle who was to blame. He's the one who caused it all. Or it was my family breakup that set me onto the wrong path. But realizing this, the individual can stop and begin to use an alchemistical transmutation of his own remembrances. And if he can clean the mysterious stables of his own memories, he can do a great deal to improve his present disposition. No matter what happened to him anywhere along the line, he can get over it if he really wants to. So he can say to himself, yes, this was my cause of trouble. Now, what is it that happened at that time that in the divine plan of things had to happen to me? Why did I have to go through that? Why does the neighbor have children that are happy and are living together in comparative tranquility? And my family went on the rocks. Why did this happen? Well, there are all kinds of answers, but the substance of the matter is, as we look at it today, that the condition that has been caused is wrong, and that this condition has been allowed to control life and make trouble for the individual, maybe for 60 or 70 years. He's never got over his grievance. He was here to get over the grievance, and philosophy, religion, science should teach him that there is a grievance to be recovered from, and that it is only his own integrity that will do it. And when it comes to leaning on science for this type of recovery, it can only go so far. It can help to clarify the problem, but no individual can solve it without the use of his own willpower, common sense, and integrity. So we have all these problems that are here to make us learn. We are here to realize that this schooling we are going through is an educational process. Life in this world is not a vacation. It is a period of schooling. It is something in which we have lots of opportunities to be happy. We can occasionally take a nice ripe apple to the teacher if we want to. 
We can have good friends in school. We can have interesting lessons to learn. But we are here to learn. And in, by learning, to accomplish the one thing that learning can do. And that is help us to correct our own mistakes. We are going to have to be individuals. We are going to have to be elements in a new type of humanistic society. One in which each individual assumes a responsibility for his own conduct. And will keep on assuming that responsibility until his life is devoid of any of the intemperances that cause him to be in trouble.